Good afternoon, how's it going? It's Max here, just sipping on my super delicious coffee. Um, in about half an hour, I have a call with um, a woman from Work University, where I went for my postgrad, and we're doing some work on AI together with this artificial intelligence professor. Um, so I'm just gonna prepare for the call, see what kind of work she's been doing. I think she's doing a PhD in law, which is pretty cool. Um, definitely gonna have some flashbacks from law school. Uh, but yeah, just gonna check, <clears throat> sorry, just gonna check what she sent me in terms of the prep for the call uh, and then jump on it. Yeah, super excited. She's done a lot of research on blockchain and distributed ledger technology and the relationship between that and the financial regulations in the UK and Europe. She's done work on antitrust and competition law. Yeah, this is all pretty cool. Uh, yeah, tons of cryptocurrency stuff. I mean, definitely a hot topic and a good field to be involved in in terms of exposure and things of that nature and importance. She's a Man United fan. I don't know if we're gonna jam well. <laughs> joking. I mean, half joking. What do you think of splitting then if we take legal responsibility and splitting it into physical agents and software or something like that? Because I'm guessing you, I actually went for this talk recently, uh, it was about AI and trading and stuff like that. And then what, what, happens, what happens if... Um, you know, say there is a company, right, that writes those algorithms and then they sell it to, the <laughs> you know, anyone. I see. But then there is, isn't there in consumer regulations, there are laws about uh, making a hazardous product and then the, there is a secondary liability attachment to the actual manufacturer and primary liability to the retailer, isn't it a similar situation? Do you have to code empathy and selflessness in every a in every AI algorithm that you make? I think that's what the ethics researchers are referring to. It's just putting in rules, right? Rules and principles that are basic to AI's functioning and that cannot be changed, you know, because as soon as algorithm is self-learning, it can change its code, but then the argument is that some parts of the code should never be manipulated or altered. Sweet, sweet. All right, thanks. Yeah. Super productive, I thought we were just brainstorming on different bits of AI governance, intellectual property and stuff like that. Probably going to come up with uh, some research papers to incorporate in the bigger project and yeah. Yeah, there are some like-minded people around and uh, I'm super happy to have a pleasure of working with them. If 
few hours after the call I cracked on with editing the vlog from the day before and that was my trip to Bristol to interview Luke Dumel, the author of Thinking Machines and the Formula. A uh, vlog from that day is out on my YouTube channel so please check it out if you have time. I strongly urge you to give it a listen when it's out. I thought it was a fascinating conversation. We talked about AI in popular culture, the possibility of AI displacing jobs and what kinds of jobs are going to be displaced, how current graduates can prepare for the future to come, and many, many other things. A quick video about the five big ideas that I picked up from Thinking Machines that I'm going to put out shortly, sort of very micro level, mostly my thoughts. And after that, I did some more email work and indulged into some meat eating. Oh, yes. Thank you very much for watching this vlog and catch you guys later. Bye! <sighs> Not good. Not good at all. Oh, man.